perhaps a final question, Peter. I've been um, with you traveling around talking, and I've been talking um, for the last seven occasions, I think, about the problem of evil. So I've had an awful lot to say to um, young people about the problem of evil, and I've given um, a reading of uh, St. Augustine and Irenaeus and things. Uh, what we haven't had the chance, uh, I had the chance in the last uh, couple of weeks to hear, is kind of what you felt are the most salient points of the problem of evil, whether it's a problem that needs solving, or whether the come back to something we said earlier, the process of examining it just makes us illuminate and deepens our understanding of things instead. I think the process of illuminating it is important, but I think the problem of evil is one of the most fundamental challenges to the existence of God, particularly extreme suffering, particularly the story of Ivan Karamazov and the extreme suffering he represents, or of course the Holocaust. I think trying to reconcile an all-powerful, all-good God with the existence of evil is one of the gravest problems, but I think it's an important problem to address. We may just be animals. It may just be that we suffer because we're animals and our bodies break down. But I also think that many people who've been through suffering grow as a result. And the idea of fulfilling human potential, and that potential doesn't come from just being happy. It comes from meeting suffering, meeting other people's suffering, showing compassion, coming to an understanding of what we're about. And I think just saying we're here to be happy is too trivial. There is more to being human than that. And I think reflecting on the problem of evil is a vital step in that process. Absolutely. And I think actually in talking to the groups of young people I've been talking to the last uh, couple of weeks, the kind of most obvious response and kind of affirmation, I you know, mean, you've talked to groups of people that I've felt has been when I've talked about the extent to which they've probably grown and become richer, more um, substantial human beings as a result of having some adversity in their life. And we're, that's we're, difficulty, but it, it does something to them transformative. We just had just been out of a debate, and two people, one referred to having a Downs a brother or sister, another to having a suicide in the family, and what effect that had on them. And at one level it's devastating, but there are also very positive effects. I mean, people say, oh, Downs, how absolutely terrible, and we abort three quarters of our Downs babies. But the joy that Downs children bring to many families is actually enormous. And I think that we tend to see anything to do with suffering as being necessarily bad. I think it's too simplistic. I'm not advocating suffering for the sake of suffering, but I do think there is a value in going through difficult times. And I think all the great religious traditions have recognized that. Thank you.